Hey, this is Kate Trinata at Omiba. Um, here, letting you know what's in my bag. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is this poster right here. Um, Suspiria. I've seen this movie like not so long ago for the first time. I always wanted to watch this but this version from the 70s actually blew me away just the way everything looked and all the, the costumes and all the makeup. It kind of kind of looks funny as well but that's one of the movies that kind of like scared me a little bit but it, it, it's, it was really beautifully done to me so that's like it really became my favorite horror movie now. And the soundtrack too by Goblin is like insane. So now we really love Goblin, the band. So yeah, that's why I'm like going crazy over this one. Got this DVD from um, A Track. Oh, hello. I didn't see you come in. His biopic or his documentary. He's a hometown hero for many, many people of Montreal as well are looking up to this guy. He was a worldwide known DJ by the time he was like 14 years old, like killing shit at DJ com competitions. <laughs> And then he became Kanye's DJ as well and he's picking up his career. And now he's still killing it, you know. And it was somebody who looked up to. He was like one of the first artists who gave me a cosign as well. It's cool to find this here, because I'm like, damn, I've been looking for it since I was like 19 or 18. This Kanye. Go out and buy a track DVD, man. That's the reason. It's all Kanye. <laughs> so go buy it. This is Mad Villainy, the remix album. Some reason why I like the remix album better than the original one. Because I don't know, I feel like the beats are more Madlib style. You know, how Madlib does his projects. It's like unapologetically his himself compared to the other one, which introduced us to the world who Madlib and who Doom was. But this one is like more personal and it's just the same rhymes as well, but, but different takes as well. The doctor told the patient it's all in your imagination, Negro. Ah, what do he know about the buttery flow? He need to cut the ego. I like Sermon in there. I like the monkey suit version on this one because it's like has a different drum drum break. Stay strong and ride like the funky flu. Won't find the villain in the street inside no monkey suit. I like the whole thing. I like to listen front to back. Oh yeah, I just took this. It's like the collection of all, all of Prince's movies on Blu-ray. Rekka Stowe. <laughs> Louder. Rekka Stowe! <laughs> give up. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If you wanted to buy a Sam Cooke Abbott, where would you go? The Rekka Stowe. <laughs> I haven't seen Under the Cherry Moon and Graffiti Bridge on there. And it's cool, it's gonna be nice to see that on Blu-ray at home. So I'm definitely looking forward to watch that. This Sade DVD right here. I remember like watching this when I was young, when I was in a VHS and you know, it's just like a little image memory, a little nostalgic, like it really hit me when I find when I found this one. This record right here by, by Cesar Mariano. I just see this like album cover everywhere and I know this song called uh, Metropole that is like actually amazing. Looking forward to check it out and just listen to it. This one is uh, Sani Inang. This is like from Ghana, Africa. Especially where this song called Where Are You um, kind of like influenced me in a way. The way I make beats and the way the groove is really going on the music, you know what I'm saying, on this song. So I kind of like emulate that and kind of like put that in like most of my joints, you know. I found that in the Doing It For Legos compilation. Apparently they were doing like, kind of imitating like what was hot 
in the early 80s, like the disco. And, like the top charts, even in, uh, in Africa, it was like mostly R&B and boogie and disco. So that's kind of like why this whole wave of like African artists was like doing the same thing. And it kind of sounds more raw and more, you know, I guess organic. So OC Bisa, I'm not sure where they're from, but my dad is always like, you gotta, you gotta check this record out, you gotta check this record out. OC Bisa, I'm telling you. And I'm like, right, right, okay. In fact, that I found this record and I'm just gonna check it out. So I got this Tuxedo remixes. Um, there's one remix of mine that's in there and I don't have to copy my, in my house. It's one of my favorite remix I ever did too. I'm actually singing on this one too, uh, just for fun. And the instrumental as well. One of my favorite beats I ever done, so yeah. I have the Daft Punk Electro Roma. I never saw it in full. I remember like there's this clip of like them exploding or some shit. Now I have it on DVD and the box look, looks crazy as hell. Well, this right here. Good follow up to Daft Punk, you know, um, this album like kind of put me onto like the whole electro, you know, vibe in 2000, around 2007, you know, the late 2000s. But this album like kind of like blew me, blew my mind. Cause like, I remember when being in high school, just picking this album up just because of the cover. And the song called D-A-N-C-E and the video was like, kind of like, like hard to look away. <laughs> Even the intro called Genesis, it's like, it, it blows everybody's mind you know, all the time. And I've never seen it on vinyl, so I'm happy I found this one. I love me some Barry White, you know. The intro on this song, uh, Standing in the Shadows of Love, it's just crazy how the song starts. It's like this crazy build up. And I'm gonna love you just a little more, baby. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite joints in there. Digital Zanduli. This is a sick, really sick compilation of like Caribbean music, like from Haiti, from Guadeloupe. I was really looking for a lot of artists in the sense that we're doing disco, mixing that with um, their Caribbean roots. For a while I was looking for it and I couldn't find it. This compilation kind of sets its own. This song called Pucci. That's like, that's one of my favorite joints right now. And the last one, I don't know why I took this one. It's like French wave, 1979 to 85, called Bip, Bip, B-I-P-P-P. -P -P. I don't know how it's gonna sound like, but something about the new wave at the time that really intrigues me. The drum machines and you know the sense they're using, like probably like the same similar sense and and how you know off key they are when they sing as well. <laughs> but it really sounds dope. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. I'm really glad to be here.